Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sister. How are you? Um, great by the grace of Allah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your name, sir? My name is Arthur Muhammad. May I have the spelling for that? A R T H U R M U H A M M A D. Thank you. I have a few questions for you. The first is how or when were you introduced to the nation of Islam? Well, the truth actually, um, I came to California looking for God. Hmm. And I found him through Donald Miller's Farrakhan. He was my guide to what I was looking for. And I came to the nation actually, uh, I worked for this club called the Toy Experience Night Club. And there was a, in the back, I cleaned up this entire club. And in the back of this last room that I cleaned up was a duffel bag. And I dumped the duffel bag out and I found a cassette tape. And the name of the tape was called the relationship of the black man and black woman. I've never heard those words put like that before. Mm. So I listened to it. And I said, I said, Brandon, I said, where's this man at? I need to talk with him. <laughs> so he says, they took me outside the club. So there's this picture right there on the pole. This picture's on the telephone pole. Mm. He's going to be speaking at the forum. I said, I got to go. But something happened where I wasn't able to attend. Mm. But after that meeting, my friend named was Rudy Taylor. We said, Arthur, you, need to, you don't need to be in these streets. You need to be down here. I said, where? He said, you need to be down there with the Muslims. I said, Who, who's that? He said, he took me down to the temple on, on Crenshaw. When they just dedicated, it was, it was pure gold. Mm -hmm. The picture of this man at the top. The, the little man was so cool. I mean, he's, he was the messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. Had a big star and crescent spinning around like, I said, dang, this has got to be something different here. He said, well, this is where God is. I said, really? So I went and he left me there in front of the building. He told me to go inside, and that's where it started from that day. And that was on a Sunday. And then uh, that Monday, I came back that next Monday morning, came back to the mosque, knocked on the door, said, I want to work. <laughs> so the brother let me in, so I walked in and found some paint. Mm. And I started painting out front. And then three brothers walked up, three big brothers walked up with me. I said, man, I said, they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm painting, sir. He said, who told you to do it? I said, you need it, sir. He said, that was brother Captain Emeritus Wali Muhammad. Mm. But I mean, Muhammad and my minister, Minister Wazir Muhammad, and uh, they said we're well, carry on, brother. And uh, brother Captain Haile Muhammad, I uh, remember he was the one that he was always the, that uh, brought me into the nation. I had to recite to him, and what a great honor it is to be under his uh, command through the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the brother Abdul Malik Saeed Muhammad. I to thank both of them. And brother Malik uh, brought me back into life when I was in Vegas. Uh, helping our nation and uh, he said some words to me that you know helped me regenerate myself and kept me on point and I thank you very very much for that over and over and I can understand why Donovan Lewis Farrakhan has guided him to the position that he's in right now I thank he and his wife and his children everyone for coming out here to help us that was my start wow praise be to Allah number two what made you join the nation of Islam well, actually what made me join was because this is where God was. So mm -hmm. I was searching for God and I found God in each and every man that I met because they said when you look at the black man, you're looking at God. So I found what I was looking for. It, really, it was always in front of me. It's going up, but what it is, I didn't have the knowledge of myself. I didn't know anything about God coming from Louisville, Kentucky. Heard about Ali, but I didn't get it. I just caught like the like the like a breeze of it. I didn't get the full understanding of what actually what's going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just think Allah forgive me there is what happened actually, so I hope that made sense. Yes sir, thank you. Number three is how has the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad impacted your life? From the point that I made contact with the Messenger of Allah and uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, it changed my entire world about thinking and everything, you know, about mm -hmm. what to do and what not to do, how to treat the black woman especially, and how to treat our people and how to respect another brother. Mm -hmm and to understand who God was and what the plan was he had for us and to build a new world or like a new world. And after then after seeing the minister and meeting him, you know, that's what really did a lot of it also. Brother Wally, Emeritus Captain Wally Muhammad, had led me travel with him to Phoenix to help paint mm. over there for the minister's part of his home there. And I was so I was able to meet the minister and enjoy the power that he had. That's, there was a lot of power to be around. I remember that from Bob Mills said, this is a whole lot of power here. I could feel it radiating, radiating off of his body. I mean, it fit actually. It was, 
He is who he is. Mm -hmm. And I hope that answers the question. He is, sir. Thank you. Lastly, what does the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan mean to you? He means that we will have a new world mm -hmm. of righteousness because he has been turned into the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, like the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was turned into God. Mm -hmm. So I have no problem. I know that without him, I would have been lost, truly lost. Mm -hmm. But he found me. And I thank him very much. And I thank his wife, Mother Khadijah, also, mm -hmm. and all the Farrakhan family and the Nation of Islam. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, salam alaykum. Well, like, salam. Thank you.